Well, welcome back to the homestead. So the house is coming along pretty good right now and we're getting pretty close to having the drywall installed. But before we do that, I've got to make sure that I've got all my cabling in for my home LAN and my home surveillance systems. So I'm in the upstairs equipment room right now and behind me is where the air handler is going to be located. Over on this wall, I've got the manifold for the water system. And beside that, we're going to have a on-demand hot water heater. But this wall is right now pretty blank. So I'm going to put a shelf in right here. And this is where my LAN and surveillance systems are going to terminate to. So <clears throat> the cable that I bought to run for my LAN is going to be CAT6 cable. And it's just a little bit faster than the standard CAT5 cable. So we're going to go ahead and spend a little bit extra money and put the, the better cable in. And luckily enough, the surveillance system that I'm going to be using uses PoE cameras, which is power over Ethernet. So that'll work off of the same CAT6 cable that I'm putting in for my home LAN. So what I'm going to do today is uh, we're going to start pulling the cables in from here to all the drops throughout the house where I want an internet presence. And then we'll we'll label each one of those cords as we cut it. And once all the ethernet cables are run, we'll bundle them up, put them up in the ceiling until we're ready to use them. And then if we have enough time, we'll start doing the same thing with their surveillance cameras. And uh, we'll run those in uh, just beside the ethernet. We'll label each one of them for what camera it goes to, bundle it up, put those up in the ceiling until we're ready for them. But for now, let's go ahead and start pulling some cable. So now that I've got all the ethernet cables for the house pulled into this uh, equipment room and we've got them bundled up here ready to tuck up in the ceiling until we're going to hook them up. The next thing I want to do is start pulling some cables in for the security cameras and drop them right here beside the ethernet cables. And like I mentioned earlier, I'm going to be using PoE cameras, which is power over ethernet. So the same CAT6 cable I'm using for ethernet on my LAN will work for the security cameras. But before we start pulling the cable, let's go outside and take a look at where the cameras are going to be. There was one other detail I wanted to show y'all. Uh, when you're roughing in your uh, coax cable for your TV and for your Ethernet, uh, you've got a box here. And you'll typically run your, your cable in one side of the box. So what I did was I ran it in one side of the box and then back up out the other side. And we just pulled a foot or so of the cable up and cut it off and we put a, a staple here that's kind of loose so whenever we go to uh, terminate the ends on this I'll be able to reach up in that box and just grab that cable that's back there and pull it out and make the terminations on it but that way you've got your extra cable and it's out of the way of the sheetrock so for the security cameras what I'm going to do is we've got three entry doors in the house and we're going to run a security camera directly over each one of those doorways. And then also on each corner of the house or each corner of the porch, I'm going to pull two cables in. And that'll allow me to uh, set one camera up on the corner of the house that looks down a porch. And then the other camera on that corner can look out into the yard. So <clears throat> all four porches will be on camera and every corner of the house will have a camera looking out into the yard to cover the outbuildings and stuff. So I think that'll give me pretty good coverage on it and uh, shouldn't be too hard to install that. And then of course, once we get our shop and our garage built and stuff, we'll add some cameras on for those areas too. But for now, let's go ahead and see about prepping to pull those cables in.
camera's over my doorways, all I'm going to have to do is drill a hole in that uh, two by six up there at the top for the cable to come out, and then we'll coil up some and staple it off to one of the studs until we're ready to use it. Then here on the corners of the house, we'll drill another hole here in that two by six, and we'll just pull two cables out to run along the side of this joist. And we'll have to drill holes in, in these uh, side joists. We'll run that cable all the way out here to the end of the eave. And then I can mount that one camera there looking out into the yard. And we can come back, pull that other cable back a little bit, mount a camera here, and have it look down the length of the porch. So let's go ahead and start drilling the holes for that, and then we'll pull our cables in. So now that all the holes are drilled, I'm ready to start pulling the cable in for the cameras. And since the corners of the house each are going to get two cameras, what I'm going to try and do is pull two cables at one time. I've got uh, a piece of the box from running the WAN in, and then I've got a whole other box. So I'm just going to take the uh, cable out of both of those and tape them together and see if I can pull two at one time. But in order to keep track of what cable is what, I'm going to put a piece of black tape on the cable coming out of box number one. And I'm not going to do anything to the cable coming out of box number two. And then we'll tape these two together. pull them in. Once I've got them pulled in, then I'll label the ends of each cable. So now that I've got the cables pulled in, I'll just take the one from box one. I know it's got a piece of tape on the other end. I'll pull it out, cut it, label it, and I'll label the second cable, and then I'll go back to the outside and label them there. So that's all the runs for the security cameras, and this is all the runs for the ethernet in the house. And uh, what I'm gonna do is, we're just gonna set those back up into the attic until this wall gets the uh, sheetrock put on it, and then we'll let them back down through the attic after that, and put our equipment here and terminate them. But for now, that's gonna do it for roughing everything in, and until next time, y'all keep checking back.